Hello everyone, Tony from coldpassion.co.uk. Just going to do a quick video on uh, some important numbers to test on water chemistry. Um, we're going to talk about the sort of magic triangle, if you like, which is magnesium, calcium, and alkalinity. <coughs> now, I call that the magic triangle because you need all three, and probably the foundation of that, believe it or not, is magnesium. Uh, if you don't have your magnesium within the acceptable range, uh, you're not going to really maintain uh, alkalinity uh, and also calcium is probably not going to hold in solution too well, but certainly alkalinity is going to drop. Um, but the key thing to remember here is acceptable range. Um, always try and aim for natural seawater as a rough guide, but in aquariums, I advocate running slightly elevated levels. Um, but the most important thing here is rather than getting too caught up on what the best uh, numbers to run at are, it, you really want to look at trying to achieve stability. Um, you're going to probably be better to run suboptimal numbers but keep it stable rather than be having wacky numbers that dive up and down. Always remember from previous videos when I went on about the auto top up, we want a reef tank to have a, a flat line so everything to be very stable temperature um, salinity um, and, and also alkalinity is probably one of the most important things to keep stable without stable alkalinity you're not going to get good results um, on certainly on SPS cores they just won't tolerate in instability with alkalinity right so when we go on about um, acceptable ranges these are the numbers that I'd suggest uh, you, you you run at and again it doesn't really matter where you run in these numbers it is about keeping it stable um, magnesium, I'd say anywhere between 1300 and 1500 parts per million is where you want your magnesium. Um, now you can use uh, test kits to, to see where you're at there. Um, at coralpassion.co.uk you can walk in, uh, you can pick up various test kits off the shelf um, or you can order them online. Um, and you can also order different liquids online to adjust your uh, magnesium, alkalinity and calcium. Um, you can either order liquids or you can order salts for a more economical uh, way of adjusting and maintaining your water chemistry. Um, but the, that's where you want your magnesium, sort of around 1300 to 1500 parts per million. Alkalinity, uh, I, I believe that your alkalinity should, you should always try and sort of be, at, you know, eight, eight and a half at, at sort of the lower levels and maybe even up to 10, 10 and a half at the upper levels. Uh, but again, keep that stable. Uh, I advocate running a slightly higher alkalinity just because you'll, uh, if, if your or when your chosen method of alkalinity supplementation fails, let's say if you're using a dosing palm or, or a calcium reactor, um, eventually these things will let you down. Uh, if you're running, say, at 7 dKH, a uh, heavily stocked SPS system uh, will typically lose 1 to 1.5 dKH a day easily. So it just gives you a slight buffer zone. Um, Calcium, uh, I would say anywhere between sort of 400 parts per million and 450 parts per million is where you want to be. I try and aim to be sort of around 440, 450 and try and keep it there. Um, you can have some variance in magnesium and a little bit in calcium, but certainly uh, alkalinity, you want to try and keep that absolutely rock solid, very flat line, very stable. Um, so i just take this camera, I use a, I don't know you can see it there, a Deltec calcium reactor, um, but there's various brands out there that you can use for calcium reactors, um, and you can also use dosing pumps, um, so they're dosing pumps here, uh, they're on the shelf available to pick up, and you can also, with the dosing pumps, there's a range of different uh, salts here that you can use. I've got some high quality German salts here. For example, the calcium chloride, 1,000 mil is £5.99. There's also the salt-free salts. Or for uh, a more convenient way to adjust, there is also the liquid additives which make it really easy. There's no mixing involved. You can just pour in you know, the calcium or, or the magnesium, whichever one is, is, is low. And, um, don't forget your test kits to test all these values. Um, but that's, that's the important role there of magnesium, alkalinity, and calcium. Um, so I hope you found that useful.
Uh, we'll probably talk a little bit more about refractometers at a later date. I'll do another video on them uh, and show you how to calibrate and, and test using a refractometer. Uh, but that's all for me for now. Hopefully uh, you're going to give me some comments or some other suggestions on what other videos you want to see. Thanks very much.